The AeroQuip Pro Crimp FT1380 is designed to crimp Eaton high quality hose assemblies, including thermoplastic, textile braid, Teflon, wire braid, and spiral through one and a quarter inch. Before we begin, here are some important factors to keep in mind. You must always follow the outlined process and product instructions to ensure you have a safe and properly crimped hose assembly. This includes observing the Eaton fitting tolerances for all AeroQuip hoses and hose ends. Do not use Eaton hose fittings on hoses from other manufacturers or AeroQuip hoses with hose fittings other than those made by Eaton. This video will explain the proper procedure for crimping a hose assembly correctly. However, you should always read the operator's manual thoroughly before attempting to operate this or any other crimping equipment. Remember, the operator's manual is your best source for information about the operation and maintenance of the ProCrimp FT1380. It includes troubleshooting tips, electrical and hydraulic schematics, die cage components parts and part numbers, plus a machine diagram and parts list. The ProCrimp FT1380 comes calibrated from the factory and ready to use immediately. Be sure the ProCrimp FT1380 is on a stable work surface and is properly secured. Do not shortcut any of these steps. Once properly installed, the machine is ready for use. Before you attempt to operate your ProCrimp FT1380 machine, it's imperative that you read the important safety information located in the front of the Eaton AeroQuip Hose Assembly Master Catalog. Always wear safety glasses. Be aware of loose-fitting clothing that can get caught in the equipment and avoid wearing any jewelry when operating the machine. Keep your hands clear of all moving parts at all times. Never let anyone who has not been properly trained operate this equipment. Use care when handling the dies. Never insert or remove dies when the power is on. Never allow two people to operate the machine at the same time. The ProCrimp FT1380 uses a variable crimping process. The variable crimping process uses die cages and electronic settings. It's important that ProCrimp FT1380 users are properly trained and understand this variable crimping process. The keypad allows you to adjust certain settings on the ProCrimp FT1380, and it's the key to this variable crimper. To better understand the keypad and the display, turn on the power at the rear of the machine. The work light and the display will come on to indicate you have power. To enter a crimp value, press the Enter button. The green light comes on. Immediately press the three numerical buttons that coincide with the specified target settings. After the third number is entered, the three-digit number will remain on the display. You have only five seconds to enter a number or the display will revert back to the previous setting. The display number itself is a relative number, not the crimp diameter. The unit is programmed to show the ratio of the crimp diameter change to the display change in a one-to-one -one crimp ratio. For example, if a fitting is crimped to a setting of 120 and the crimp diameter is 35 thousandths too large, the display must be changed by 35 thousandths or to a display of 085 to produce the correct crimp diameter. Remember, the unit is programmed for three digits and therefore the zero must precede the 85. The enter button is used to load any three digit number into the display. The numbered keys have two functions. In the enter mode, the numeric value appears in the display, and in the store mode, they retain a display setting. The ProCrimp FT1380 has a memory to retain up to 10 of the most common or frequently used fitting target settings. To store a number from the display as a preset, press the enter button and enter a three-digit number within the five-second time limit. Then press and release the store button. The green light next to the store button lights up when working in the store mode. Finally, hold down any one of the 10 numerical buttons for three seconds. When the green light switches from the store button to the numbered button and stays lit, the setting has been saved. To recall a setting from the presets, first make sure the store and enter lights are off. If not, don't touch anything and in about five seconds they will go off. Press the button corresponding to the storage setting you want to recall. That setting will appear in the display and you are now ready to make a crimp with that saved setting. Before we make an actual hose assembly, let's review some basic procedures. Start with the proper hose and hose end selection. Always refer to the Eaton AeroQuip Hose Assembly Master Catalog for the proper Eaton AeroQuip series of hoses and hose ends. 
Be sure that the hose and hose ends you select are components designed and approved for the type of application for which the hose assembly is being used. The first step is measuring and then cutting the hose to the proper length. If you are not familiar with making hose assemblies, be sure you allow for what is called the cutoff factor. Remember, the overall length of the hose includes the hose ends, and you must allow for this additional length before cutting the hose. The cutoff factors for hose ends are found in the Eaton AeroQuip Master Hose Assembly Catalog. Be sure the cut is both square and clean. To ensure that the hose end will be fully inserted into the fitting, mark the hose from the end to a length equal to the scribe line on the fitting socket. Now insert the hose into the fitting up to that mark. Be sure that the end of the hose is fully inserted into the fitting. This is necessary to ensure a proper crimp. The proper Eaton tooling must always be selected. Refer to the published Eaton AeroQuip crimp specifications or download them from Eaton's website. You must select the correct die cage and crimp setting for the approved hose and fitting combination. Inserting the die cage is easy. Ensure that the power switch is in an off position and then slide the die cage onto the two grooves in the holder. To load or unload the die cages, the crimp ring must be in the fully retracted position. If the die cage is not fully retracted, press and hold the retract switch until the crimp ring stops. For the first time and periodically thereafter, lubricate the exterior taper of the crimp die with the Eaton Anti-Seize Lubricant supplied with the machine. Optional die cage holders are available and can be mounted to the side of the unit. Next, either select a preset button or enter the proper value into the keypad. Insert the hose and hose end into the die cage from the bottom. Line up the scribe line or indicated crimp location so that it is slightly below the die cage about 1 32nd of an inch or about 31 thousandths. This allows for growth during the crimping operation. Hold the hose firmly from below with one hand and press the crimp switch with the other and continue to hold the button. The crimp die will continue to compress until the fitting is fully crimped. The ProCrimp FT1380 will automatically retract when the crimp is complete. The electric motor only operates during the actual crimping cycle. When retracting, the motor stops and the dump valve releases the hydraulic pressure. If for any reason you want to stop the full retraction, press and release the retract switch when it reaches the point at which you want to stop. To continue the full retraction, press and hold the retract switch. Once the crimp has been completed, measure the nominal crimp diameter using calipers or a point micrometer. Readings should be taken from all sides of the fitting and averaged. Compare the reading to the specification listed in the crimp specifications chart used to prepare and complete the hose assembly crimp. If the crimp is not correct, follow the previously described steps to ensure an accurate crimp diameter is achieved. Once you have a proper crimp, this assembly procedure may now be repeated for the other hose end by following the identical steps used for the first crimp fitting. One final reminder. Safety should never be compromised under any circumstances. Be sure the unit is properly positioned before use. Follow all the safety procedures outlined in this video and in the manual when the machine is being operated. By following the proper setup and operating instructions, you can make dependable Eaton hose assemblies every time using the ProCrimp FT1380 crimp machine. If there is a problem or if you have any questions, consult the crimping procedures found in the Eaton ProCrimp FT1380 Operator's Manual or contact Eaton Technical Support. Crimp with confidence. Connect with Eaton.